Hey, what's up, Lone Star Drift YouTube channel? Aaron is so sad he couldn't be here. So instead, I'm gonna take over the channel real quick. We're gonna do a pit walk. We're here at Formula Drift St. Louis. Really excited to be here, and I'm just gonna kind of show you what's going on. Today is load-in day and tech day, so all the teams are getting ready, getting unloaded. You guys can see Jao Berion from Hyperdrive, and uh, it should just be a fun day. So here is uh, Bayon. That's one of my favorite pro car, pro two cars ever. Adam LZ in his beautiful S15. I'll give you a quick, quick look at this bad girl. We're not allowed to show these wheels yet, but. Woo. Look at that thing. Here is Dean Kearney's. That's Dean Kearney's Viper right there. They've been working on this thing a ton. I think it's twin turbo now or something. It's absurd, but it looks great. Uh, he's been paired up with my buddy Aaron Kaufman from Arclight. So I know he's been helping him a lot, which is rad. All right, let's see what else we can find here. Oh, look, Nick Novak. You guys remember him competing in Lone Star. He bought this insane BMW. I don't know why it's up on jack stands. Look at these brakes. Foot brake, hand brake. In case you were curious, see how thin those rotors are? That's because it's a drift car and heat does not matter. Oh my God. Gigantic Whipple supercharger. RTS engine block. That is a serious car. <laughs> Pretty ridiculous. Definitely not one to bring to Lone Star. If you do that, I'm gonna be so mad at you, Nick. All right, let's go see what else we can find here. Look at this. The M-Spec S14 Kevlar bodywork. This is dope. So this is a uh, Stuke Racing M-Spec Performance. These are friends of mine from Colorado. Uh, really, really cool car. It's a 2J S14, so of course I love it. And it's got all the go-fast parts that you'd expect. Dog box, quick change, rear mount, blah, blah, blah. All the stuff that I can't afford and I'm kind of pissed off about because I don't have it in my car. Anyway, <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm also here helping Josh Robinson. He is running Pro 2 this year. He just built a brand new HGK Eurofighter. I'll give you guys a quick peek of that. It is right here. So there's, there's the car, look at that thing. Rear mount radiator. So it's got a Texas Speed V8, makes 700 wheel NA, and then it's got nitrous on top of that, so why not, right? So I'm here spotting for Josh. I'm gonna be helping him out. Go ahead, man. Don't let me get in the way. A couple of sick cars over here. What's up? What's up? What's up man? You guys pass tech? Yeah. All set. Awesome. Very cool. Very, very cool. So, supercharged V8 S14. I'm just rattling off specs. I don't even know everything about these cars, but I'm just happy to be here and thought I'd show you guys what's up. What's going on, guys? What's up, man? How you doing? Good, man. How's it going? It's good. How's it going? I'm just kind of checking out everything under the pits. Oh, yeah? Good looking car. You guys ready to go? Yeah, we got, a bump, we got a bumper on it, maybe not a full bumper. I know, right? I was gonna. Bad, good, man. I was gonna come give Farouk some shit about it, but. Oh, I don't you better see go it. over there and give them some shit over there, too. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I, no, I did. I did in tech. I was talking trash in tech. Don't worry. They, they got it just as bad. But good luck, guys. Good to see you, dude. All right, you too. Take it easy. What's going on, man? What's up, guys? So, this is a brand new build for this year as well. You guys might recognize. What's up? What up, dude? Student Pit Rock. Ah, right How you on. doing? Good to see you, dude. Good, you too, man. How's you wanna, going? Give us uh, 30 seconds on your new build here. Uh, so this thing is sick. Is first Aaron, of all, Aaron Eusebi's. <laughs> thank you. This is Aaron Eusebi's mom's car. Uh, right. 200,000 mile, uh, 2005 BMW E46. Amazing. Uh, 860 wheel horsepower, 2JZ, and a complete new build for this year. Yeah, I knew that. I've been following your build. I'm so happy to see you get out of the V8 and into the 2J. <laughs> That's my favorite thing in the whole world right hell there. Yeah, Thank you yeah. for that. It's going to sound amazing. Yeah, dude, it's pissed. I love yeah. it. Yeah, car love looks it. fantastic. Thank you, dude. As, as it should, right? Nice and clean, nice and yeah. simple. Looks All the awesome. Good bits. 
It's so good. Yeah, I'm happy with it. On Achilles, what maybe it's gonna be fast as fuck. It's gonna be fast. <laughs> it is fast. I've never yeah. put toe in the car before. It just doesn't need it. It doesn't it's need just, it? It's just like it's so fast. I don't need that. <laughs> it's so fast. Like especially yeah. I went and tested at Irwindale a couple times and I'm like, yeah, it's way too much. Right. Like, I just I wanna Take run the away. wall and like I was still like trying not to hit people and right? yeah, it's good dude. I love it. So. You gotta keep up with Forsberg now, so <laughs> Now yeah, you can maybe. Gotta keep up with everybody. Yeah, so, true yeah, that. Hopefully we'll be banging doors this weekend. Dude, that looks so good too. That manifold and everything. Yeah, Doc Race, V Van style for the gear. Yeah. Turbo. I have a Doc Race, but mine doesn't look that cool. <laughs> Brand new. Mine's, that's the cool part about. Is that the stuff. difference? I was like, man, mine, what the hell? What they do in mine? Uh, yeah. Is this actual carbon too? Yeah. So that, God, that is actually. That looks amazing. We, Chris drives for a team over in China, and mm -hmm. I saw that they had these on their cars, and I was like, <laughs> translate. Yeah. I would tell them I want that. Right, right. I want that. We I want three that. of them. So <laughs> they actually made them in red and green, a couple of different colors. Oh, very cool. Uh, so you guys make it in blue. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it's it's like a one-off custom piece from a team in China. So nobody else, you won't see anybody else. I was going to say, that. like, can I get one of those? Nope. Sorry, I can't. Unless I speak Chinese. <laughs> yeah, you got to like hit them up. You got to right? like DM them or something. Hopefully yeah. they get back to you. Awesome. Well, best of luck this year, man. Thank you, dude. I All appreciate right. it. For sure. Take it easy. You too. Such a cool car. I love that thing. Here's Chris Forsberg's car. This thing is amazing as well. What's going on? What's new for this year? Give me 30 seconds. Uh, let's see. We rebuilt the whole um, chassis. A everything new. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, we took it all the way down to the frame, sandblasted it. Okay. Um, like cut some more metal out, redid the transmission tunnel for better access, did um, a couple of suspension points in the back. Um, the front end and the uh, drivetrain is all the same as last year. Okay, uh, that's good actually. Other, that means it's reliable and it yeah, works, right? Yeah. The other yeah. other uh, upgrade was the diff. We did the bigger axles and the bigger RTS diff. Okay. Um, and so yeah, it's sick. So perfect. And uh, yeah, all the running parts like yeah, the same. all the important shit, yeah. right? <laughs> moving, moving little things around, trying to lose weight. Yeah. We got it down to like um, uh, 20, 29. 60 with me in it. Okay. So it's like right, right where that's, we want That's to be. pretty light for Pro yeah. One. Like a lot of these guys are trying the heavy. Well, yeah, well, you know. I mean, we only have a 275. Yeah, I was going to say a lot so of. We have to get it as light as we can. Right, right. But a lot of people aren't they adding weight to go with a big tire, thinking if, that's if the, had, the if strategy. If we had the option, we would probably do the same. Really? Uh, yeah. Because okay. it's a lot easier to add weight than take it out. Yeah, absolutely. Spending a lot of time and money at it or uh, taking more yeah. out when these guys are doubling down on batteries. Right, right. I was going <laughs> to so. say, taking weight out gets very expensive too. Yeah. I know that. I know. So we're just working so. with uh, you know the 75 and you know, it's been working for us thus far. Awesome. And uh, yeah, just trying a couple new things and we'll see how it goes. Badass. Well, good yeah, luck, man. man. See ya. All right. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Such an amazing car. Man, one day I'll drive one of those, I swear. I don't know, I'm dreaming maybe, but sure wish I could. All right, what else can we see here? Here's the Achilles booth. They're mounting up a million tires, a million expensive tires. Travis Reeder's car over there. I don't see him over there, so I can't go talk to him. You know who I wanna find? I wanna find Matt Field. I wanna find his dumbass. He's probably got his shirt off. I need to find him and talk some shit. So you guys might remember we went on Drift Week together and we had a blast. It was super fun. And we we uh, <laughs> drove a lot together because both of our cars were like the top powered cars. And like, I don't know, he's just an awesome guy to drive with. So very good and consistent. You can trust him, that sort of stuff. What's up? I thought I'd come over here and talk some shit. Where's Matt? <laughs> I think he's getting a... Uh, oh, he's right there in the front end. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Is his car out? No, it's over at a... Oh, it's a tech. Yep. Damn, all right. I'll have to catch him in a, in a minute then. All right. Good seeing you guys. Sorry. All right, so unfortunately I didn't get to see Matt's car just yet, but we'll go find another car to look at. And then we'll see, uh, <laughs> we'll see Matt. Oh, man. There you are, you sexy some bitch. I'm you, surprised you got a shirt on. What you doing? <laughs> it's cold in here. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it is. I was coming over here to look at your car, and then out it's of tech. Not here, yeah. Yep, no. Out of tech. So I'll have to catch you when it comes back. You boys should probably get your shit out on there for We're tech. done. We're done. Oh, We're fast. Right. All right. We're just missing a couple stickers and stuff, but you know it's all good. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Yeah. Goddamn. Shit was wild.
Well, good shit, dude. Oh, yeah, I'll be spotting this year. Okay. Instead of oh, no wrenching for me. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. All right. All right, so we'll get you, uh, you guys a clip of his car whenever it comes back from tech. Okay. All right, we're running out of time here. I'm almost at 10 minutes. Got to keep these YouTube videos around 10 minutes. So I'll give you one more car to look at. This is a car that I've not seen before, but it looks cool. I love the color of the wheels. I love the E36 always. Reminds me a little bit of Mike Van Schellenbeck's car. Simple setup, not anything ridiculous, but that's actually good. That means it looks like an actual car. So like, Nice fitment, good fenders, maybe not front fitment, but the rear fitment's on point. These beamers can get away with nearly stock bodywork, meaning like stock bumpers, some side skirts, and nothing that's like insane. This is a stock bumper up front. So very cool that they can get away with that. All right, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little pit walk. Uh, I'll try and bring you guys as much content as I can. You can thank Aaron for uh, in encouraging me to come out here and doing this. And if you guys wanna see more, just let me know. You can follow me at Shredder Racing. Follow Lone Star Drift, you probably already do, that's why you're watching this. And I'll see you guys on the next one.